Support is pouring in this morning for Jaguars quarterback Nick Foles, his wife, and their family. In a heartfelt Instagram post, Tori, the wife, revealed that she had a miscarriage after 15 weeks of pregnancy. It is the reason that her husband, Nick Foles, has not been at training throughout the week for the Jaguars. Now, News for Jacks reporter Ashley Harding explains how people from all over, especially here in Jacksonville, are really rallying around the Foles family. A lot of people have been reaching out to this family. Nick Foles' fellow Jaguars players are showing their support, as is coach Doug Marone. Now, his wife, Tori Foles, posted on Instagram saying she had contracted pneumonia, and that is what led to the miscarriage. And she wrote on Instagram saying, in part, the emotions go back and forth from immense and overwhelming sadness, confusion, and anger to a firm belief that God has this fully in his hands and will use this for good. We cannot always understand or explain, but we know this is true. We've endured some unique challenges as a couple so far, but never quite knew what something like this felt like. And now we do. After the news broke, Mayor Lenny Curry took to Twitter saying, quote, the city of Jacksonville is with both of you. As parents, Molly and I pray for Tori and you. We grieve with you. May the Lord be with you. And Jaguars head coach Doug Marone also commented yesterday saying, quote, our thoughts and prayers are with Nick and his family, and he knows like anyone else that we're here for him. The football part, we'll just figure that out. I wasn't really on top of that. You know what I'm saying? My mind is more so what's going on on the outside and making sure I do the best job I can for the players. And as of this morning, more than 2,000 people have commented on the Instagram, many of them mothers themselves sharing stories about miscarriage. As of right now, it is unknown when Nick Foles will be back to practice. Of course, we'll keep you updated. I'm Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.